when you're like planning a guest list and you're like, well, do I have to invite that other person if I invite them? I hate that. And I, I literally hate it. And I'm going to stop doing that. I don't even care. I want to. We both need to. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like I feel like I don't have like I feel like in the past I did. I, there would be a lot of people where I'd be like, oh, I feel bad if I don't ask them. And I'm like, if I think that anymore if I'm like oh well if I'm inviting them I have to invite them that I think is gonna be my radar on I don't actually like this person or like (laughs) I'm not actually close friends with this person yeah because if you say oh I have to invite them it's like "Mm, do you do you want them there I was thinking more about this because you and I talked about it I think one of the times we filmed a bonus app not on camera but like we had a whole talk about it and then I talked about it kind of more recently with other friends of mine and I've just been reflecting on this concept and I do think it's like an old-fashioned thing like yeah I think about my parents and I feel like they and like that generation thinks that way more than we do of like well I have to invite this person if I'm having this event or like with weddings like well you have to invite great aunt blah 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 if you're inviting blah 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 you know what I mean like I think in our generation it's just people view friendships so differently and like but it does still exist but I see what you're saying yeah it's like definitely on a greater scale I feel like for older people especially when it comes to weddings and big events like that but yeah it is down to like a friendship level and like even like just hanging out after work like a happy hour or like a night out or having a small gathering at your house like it doesn't have to be a huge event but even those times where you're like oh well if I invite them gotta invite them and it's like we don't gotta do anything (laughs) like and also and you might hurt feelings but that's the price you pay yeah and I feel like another thing is like if If I knew that I was being invited places because somebody else was and the person hosting was like, oh, well, if I invite them, I have to invite Kelly. I'm like, oh, you don't need to invite me anywhere. Yeah. Like, I will have something else to do. Yeah. I don't need to go. Like, I don't even, I just genuinely hope that I don't have any friends like that or I haven't been attending any. Same, (laughs) actually. Like, you you don't. You almost never think about it from the other end, you know? Right, right. Because you're like, when you think about it in your life, it just annoys you. But then if you think about it, you're like, wait, am I getting invited places because somebody feels like they have to invite me? Ick, I hope not. That's the worst feeling. Because it's like, why would you want to go to that? Like, no, it's fine. And you can also still respect. So, like, let's say my friend of a friend or whatever, who knows, was like, oh, I'm having a birthday party. And if I invite this mutual friend, I feel like I have to invite Kelly. I can still have lots of respect for that person and still be like, no, you don't have to invite me. Like, I don't. It doesn't necessarily like it doesn't make them a bad person. It doesn't make them rude or I don't know. Like, I think that you just don't have to invite everyone you know to everything. And it's also, like, a level of friendship, too. Like, I have never said that about actual friends of mine. Well. Um, well, no, I guess that's not a good. Or, like, fr- like there are tiers of friends. There are so tiers someone of friends. Like, that like could be a friend, but not, like, a really close friend that you tell all of your secrets to. Like, do you have anyone that you're just, like, they're in your friend, one of your friend groups, but you're not necessarily super close with, I guess? But they're still a friend. But you have that feeling of, like, well, do I have to invite them if I'm inviting these other people in the friend group? You know what I mean? Yeah. Um... I guess it's different when you have like a solid friend group like I have a very close friend group from high school and we're all very close it's like five or six people and whenever somebody has plans like everyone's invited yeah and it's so welcoming and open with plans and like everything like that there have been times where if I'm having people over my house I'm like I don't have enough beds for this whole group to come so then I'm like oh I feel bad if I only invite one of them but it's not out of like oh I don't want them to come it's more about I don't want to be rude if I just like pick and choose people from this friend group so like that's a thing as well but there have definitely been times where there's like a few one-off people or like mutual friends where there are many times where we hang out in a group but I wouldn't consider them part of my friend group and then it's the verge of like oh well do I invite them do I not and I'm like it is just like kind of sad because it's like you shouldn't feel obligated to invite people to things especially if you're you're hosting them yeah like it's different if it's like out at a bar like it could be a nice thing to do to just invite the like mutual friend that you're on the fence about but if it's at your house and you're like oh like I just have to invite that person it's like no you don't I feel like that at least for me at least for me that phrase is just telling like for me that phrase like 
makes me realize how close I am or am not with someone. Interesting. I don't know that I view it as closeness, but I do view it as like how, like you can have a close, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I don't want to say this as in a negative way because I feel very blessed that I'm not part of like one singular friend group and I put all of my eggs into like one friend group's basket in a way. Yeah. Like I feel like I have really good friends from different parts of my life, but many of them are like one-off friendships so it's hard for me when I have a group gathering to like I do have to be picky and choosy because of like if I lived in a mansion sure everyone's invited have at it but like that's just not the situation I'm in and like if I like I really would love to have another birthday party this year and just like do a house party I feel like that's so like so fun and so easy and no one really does house parties anymore so that would be lit but like I just would have to be so picky and I feel so bad about that yeah But it doesn't mean that I'm not super close with people. It's just like, do I want to make it easy on myself and just have the majority of people be from like one friend group? Okay, I I totally get what you're saying. And I think it, it made me realize what I actually mean. So it's not the like, oh, I have to invite them or I feel bad. It's more like if you don't want to invite someone, but you're like, oh, well, I'm inviting them, but I'm inviting them. But deep down, I don't want them to come. Mm -hmm. Like, that's what I kind of am referring to. Okay, I get it. Yeah. 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 Because I do see what you're saying with like the different friend groups and stuff and like genuinely just not having room for everyone at one time because I also experience that as I do not live in a mansion. No mansions here. (laughs) Not yet. (laughs) Maybe he'll rent a giant warehouse in the middle of Philadelphia and come one come all that would be very fun (laughs) I would kind of love that we could play like I don't know why when you said warehouse I pictured like throwing water balloons full of paint at each other wait okay ice skating (laughs) first option water balloons full of paint second option I do think that'd be fun maybe at a skate park outside oh you're right maybe i'll celebrate park, I think skate parks are usually pretty nice i don't know if they're gonna <laughs> an abandoned skate us. park <laughs> yeah abandoned um but yeah i think like without getting into all of the little nuanced things that we could bring up situations i guess is what i meant i definitely have friends that are like i hate to say a package deal but like kind of with other people yeah where it's like if you invite these other people you just feel bad if you're not inviting like this one other person or two other people i know but i i hate that i know but if you just if you don't do it isn't that such a line in the sand and you're just like because you know on social media again getting back to the social media someone's gonna see that and be like damn like these people were invited and i wasn't when Ugh, in when for me I'm like it's really not that deep like it says nothing about our friendship but you also or like have... what if it does say something about your friendship though? yeah that's what I mean like <laughs> like I don't hate you I'm just closer with these people and like that's who I'm hanging out with but to me that's not even what it means oh what do you I mean don't know. It's so hard to put it into words. <laughs> also, some people aren't good in group settings and you and you end up having to like babysit them almost. Yeah. Or like pay extra attention to them to make them feel comfortable. And so that comes into play too. I love friends that can just be thrown into Same. any friend group Same. and you don't need to like go out of your way to make sure they're feeling okay because you know they're just able to do their own thing. Even if doing their own thing is sitting peacefully in silence and just like enjoying the yeah. vibe yeah for sure yeah I feel like this is a this is a very hard thing to talk about because it is like so nuanced and every relationship is so different it's so relationship based yeah. yeah and I might listen back to this and be like that's not what you even mean I know same now I'm scared <laughs> I know but I feel like it's okay that we're talking this out and then in the future when we're listening back or if we say something on a future episode that's completely different than what we're saying now I don't know. I feel like that's okay. Like, we're just talking it out and figuring out how to put this, like, feeling into words. Yeah, because also, as I've gotten older, (laughs) I'm so wise at 28. (laughs) But, like, not every friendship, this is what I've realized, has to be the most deep, meaningful, like, you have these life talks kind of friendship. Like, you can have surface level friendship that's 
good for you and like you're both on the same page like I have friends where I'm like I feel like we know what we are to each other which is like we hang out every once in a while if I'm not invited to their thing or they're not invited to my thing zero percent offense taken and it's a beautiful thing yeah I think what's tricky is when you're both not on the same page yes totally and sometimes you just don't know so that's where it's like hard I hope I'm not not on the same page as someone who I feel like I'm best friends with um actually my best friend's boyfriend the other day disrespected (laughs) me he's also one of my best friends but i'm not gonna name names let's call this couple karen and ryan okay karen's my best friend karen ryan said oh yeah kelly and karen are pretty close who the hell are you (laughs) who are you (laughs) men and i can't wait for karen to listen to this and hear what her little boyfriend said i will end you i'm just kidding i will ruin your life (laughs) i'm just kidding (laughs) but yeah i feel you i feel you it would it would suck to come to the realization that you're like oh wait we're just not as close as i thought we were and you find that out the hard way by i have though you know what i have like there has been people where i'm like oh well just hearing from the way that you talk about me behind my back and the way that i talk about you behind your back oh, that's tough yeah and i'm like oh we are just we're not on the that same just page give at me all. a pit and i'm like but you know what i'm not friends with that person anymore yeah. and my life has never been better mm. so like it's okay to like be friends with someone for a certain amount of time and then realize like oh i wasn't as close as we thought we were yeah and then move on that's so interesting because there are some people some of my best friends where i'm like i don't utter a bad thing about you ever yeah to anyone yeah and you just gotta hope that that's the same way in reverse dude i <laughs> feel the same way like that person that i'm talking about right now this was like one of my closest friends and i never said a bad thing mm-hmm. about this person even when she would do shitty things to me mm-hmm. that i'm like i would never do that to you yeah. like the excluding or like the just making me wait on you like i would never do that to a friend and then once i realized it i was like oh you're just like not a great person i guess yeah so maybe it was more of that than the like we're not as close as i thought we were but I don't know. I, I just think that when you when you take people out of your life that aren't serving you and if you're feeling like I would just hang out with them. And then every time I left, I'd be like, oh, my God, I talk too much. Yeah. I was annoying. Like, are they mad at me? Do they like me? And if they didn't invite me somewhere, I'd be like, oh, what the hell? And also, this is a friend for a long time. It wasn't yeah. like someone I just met like a month or even a year ago. But I wouldn't get invited. And I'm like, oh, you're you just don't want to hang out with me. Because if you wanted to hang out with me, you would have invited me. And so, like, I'm not going to be friends with you anymore. Right. And in that situation, that person, in my opinion, turned out to just not be a great person or friend. But I'm Mm -hmm. sure that's happened to me in settings where, yeah, I'm thinking of a friend that I had in high school that I thought we were, like, super close friends. And then we just, like, drifted a little too easily for someone who's actually your close friend. Yeah. And I'm like, if we were actually best friends, we just wouldn't have drifted in that way. Yeah. So looking back, that was a good example of someone who I don't love them actively, but like I love the idea of them. I respect them. Like I wish this person actually nothing but the best. And if I ran into them, I'd be so excited to see them. But yeah, we probably just weren't as close as I thought we were. Yeah. And that's fine, too. Like, it's just such a hard line. It's fine, but it's just hard when you have to learn that the hard way. Yeah. And you have to learn. Oh, I've been extremely loyal to you. Like, even when things have gone awry in our friendship, I have not said a thing to anyone and then to find out that they were saying all these things about you oh yeah I haven't had that happen I don't know the last time that's happened to me but I just I don't know sometimes in my most paranoid moments I'm like moments (laughs) maybe I shouldn't be so loyal to some of these people no I think about that too so that girl that I was just saying like I still have lots of respect for I feel like that was not the same situation yeah the other friend that I was talking about it is that situation Mm -hmm. where I'm like I would have never said that stuff about you and it's just shocking that I was so loyal to you and then this is how you talk about me behind my back how did you find out though because sometimes you could also just never find out and your friends want to fake b if i say (laughs) if i say how i found out it is going to be uh, obvious who it is so i feel like i can't off air (laughs) yeah like people would be like a hundred percent it's absolutely 
this person so I don't want to say how I found out but let's just say they were they were talking to someone and saying these things about me to someone who was very very close to me oh and I'm like why are you saying this to this person that is very close to me and like you're trying to make me look like a bad person Mm -hmm. to this other person I'm so sorry I'm being so vague because I just don't care to like okay I don't know this is like I shouldn't like call people by name but yeah 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 just such a messy situation and I'm like I wouldn't say that to anyone regardless of who they were let alone someone who has such a close relationship with you right crazy just pissed me off no I know yeah but I I don't know I don't want to like lose the part of me that's extremely loyal either because I think that's a gift and not everyone is like that (laughs) sometimes I'm on the um receiving end of someone talking crap about someone and I'm like oh like oh yeah you're not you're not that loyal of a friend oh my god yeah and like I pride myself on being loyal like I just I I feel like there were times where I wasn't always so loyal so I've tried to make up for it in my adult years oh um because you know it's called growing <laughs> look it up <laughs> but I don't want to lose that because I think it's being a loyal friend is a gift but at the same time I don't want to be mistaken for a naive person oh yeah so it's such a hard line you guys this topic is nuanced it's like that Rihanna <laughs> song where she says you mistake my kindness for weakness yes yeah the kindness for weakness thing. And I, I feel like that is mistaken when someone is a bad person. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> like, I'm not... I'm going to I'm gonna talk very highly of myself for a second. As you should. I, I consider myself, or at least I try to be a kind, like, welcoming person. And I try to see the best in people. And I don't think I'm out here mistaking kindness for weakness. Yeah. Like, I don't look at people that are kind and think weak yeah or like oh they're easy to manipulate like I just never think that about someone so I'm like I think it takes a certain kind of person to mistake kindness for weakness totally and also I do want to disclaim everything I just said by saying I definitely have talked crap about people in the past like five years of my life like I'm not saying I'm never out here like ever venting about something yeah you know what I mean like this is not that I'm saying if you consistently find yourself talking bad about someone maybe ask yourself maybe they just shouldn't be in my life anymore yes I agree (laughs) because it's hard to be on the receiving end of that and just feel like I don't like it makes me feel icky almost yeah I've definitely been with people and they are talking shit on like all of their friends and then I'm like (laughs) I'm like, I'm that meme where she's like doing the algebra on the thing. I'm like, okay, well, if you're saying X, Y, and Z about every other person in your life, I mean, you got to be saying something about me and what is it? So I'm like, that makes me feel weird. But I do think there's a difference between venting about situations that affect you and then just gossiping or talking shit on someone. So if someone is being really annoying or rude to you or a situation happened that affects your life and your friendships, I I think that if you were venting about that situation, that's not necessarily talking shit. I think you're allowed to do that. I feel like talking shit would be like if we were sitting here talking about someone else's friend of a friend and all the stuff they're going through and us just harping on their gossip so much. I feel like that would be talking shit. Not like, oh, this person in my life was such a bad friend to me and I'm over it. Yeah. In my opinion, that's not talking shit. That's just like venting and talking about your own life. I feel like when you're when you or your very close friends or family are not involved in this person or this situation at all that's more like talking shit and gossiping yeah Yeah. I don't love that yeah it's hard to not get caught up in sometimes but I have been in situations where I'm kind of sitting there like I don't love that this is what we're talking about right now 100 percent we're just like harping on the same story that happened like 10 years ago in high school or college or whatever and you're like okay like we've all can move on on now (laughs) it's okay (laughs) please although so I am one to sit with my grade school friends and yeah. talk about grade school like it's my job and it never gets old. And the stories and the high, even even our high school stories, like they are the most entertaining stories. And I will tell them again a thousand more times. I but hope that's like reminiscing. That's right, not like that's true. No, that's true. That's true. Yeah. 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 That's reminiscing. OK. It's... I feel like we said it. <laughs> we 
said it and we've said it. I'm going to edit this back and be like, and what did you say? And what did you mean by that? Because I don't think, I don't know if I'm making sense. I just have so many thoughts and so do I. you're I love, right. Yeah. Sorry, what were you going to say? No, I just love talking about this stuff. Like yeah, me friendship too. Friendship and like social media. It is so nuanced and I know right now we're talking about it in very broad topics of discussion, but I do think it'd be fun to do more nuanced, like literal examples, but I feel like we needed this first. Yeah. To like get this off our chest. And it's hard to talk about little, literal, little examples from your own life without being so obvious who they're about. Yeah. And I'm not trying to talk shit. I... Yeah. Practice what we preach, darling. Exactly. But we will be doing that off camera. I'm just kidding. (laughs) True. 